Hello friends, this is Homer Knox at MenTeachingMen.com. I'm going to be teaching on this video on the Book of Life. You know, a very interesting subject. The Book of Life is foundational, as we need to know. We need to know if we're listed in the book or not. The Book of Life lists everyone who is righteous before God righteous before God. It's a book that lists all the individuals that have been washed by Jesus' blood and are going to reside in heaven with him. It's possibly called the book of remembrance. Malachi the third chapter the 16th verse. Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another and the Lord gave attention and heard it and a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and who esteem his name. Interesting that God calls the book of life his book. Exodus, the 32nd chapter, the 33rd verse. The Lord said to Moses, Whoever has sinned against me, I will blot him out of my book. It's even more interesting that Jesus calls the book of life his book. Revelation, the 13th chapter, the 8th verse. In the book of life of the Lamb who has been slain. Everyone's name is written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, everyone. Revelation, the 17th chapter, the 8th verse, written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. Well, what's the purpose of the book? It's an enrollment book. It's used to record our names for eternity. Hebrews, the 12th chapter, the 23rd verse, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven. There is safety. There is safety to be listed in the book of life. Daniel, the 12th chapter, the first verse. Everyone who is found written in the book will be rescued. Luke, the 10th chapter, the 20th verse. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are recorded in heaven. The book of life will be opened in heaven. Revelation, the 20th chapter, the 12th verse. And I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne, and books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged from the things which were written in the books, according to their deeds. What do we have to do to have our names erased from the book of life? When we sin, our names are crossed out from the book of life. Our sins are not forgiven by the blood of Jesus Christ. And again, the scriptures tell us. Psalm, the 69th chapter, the 28th verse. May they be blotted out of the book of life, and may they not be recorded with the righteous. Exodus, the 32nd chapter, the 32nd verse. But now, if you will, forgive their sin, and if not, please blot me out of your book, which you have written. Can our name be blotted out of the book of life after we have received Christ and his saving blood? Hebrew, the 10th chapter, the 26th verse. For if we go on sinning willfully after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins. How can our name be written back into the book of life? Revelation, the third chapter, the fifth verse. He who overcomes will thus be clothed in white garments, and I will not erase his name from the book of life, and I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. Who is an overcomer? An overcomer are persons that have been cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ and are born again. Not an overcomer, not born again, not clothed in white. Why would we want not to be an overcomer? When we receive Jesus into our heart, we ask him to forgive us by his blood and all our sins are forgiven and we become overcomers. First John, the fifth chapter, the fifth verse. Who is the one who overcomes the world? but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Praise God. Our names are rewritten in the book of life. Revelation, the 12th chapter, the 11th verse. And they overcame him, Satan, because of the blood of the Lamb and because of the word of their testimony. If you're not an overcomer, you're not born again, at the end of this video will be some helps for you. Let's look at a summary of the book of life. Number one, all the names of people are written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. Number two, when we sin, our name is crossed off from the book of life. And we all sin, don't we? We all sin. When we ask Jesus into our heart and for him to forgive us of our sins by his blood, our name is rewritten 
in the book of life. Praise God. If we continue sinning in a life of disobedience, we'll have our names crossed off the book of life again. Number four. The book of life will be opened at the judgment seat and our names will be checked to see if we are in the book of life. The book of life. Number one. Everyone's name is written in the book of life at the foundation of the world. Number two. When we sin, our name is crossed out of the book of life. The book of life. Number three. When we receive Christ and his saving blood, we are written back into the book of life. Number four. At the end times judgment, the book of life is open and names are read for eternal life. How horrible not to be listed in the book of life. How horrible. If you don't think you're listed in the book of life, it's not too late to ask Jesus into your heart and to forgive you of your sins and to be rewritten back in the book of life. It's just wonderful to be listed in the book of life. Safety, security for eternity. And Jesus, we thank you and praise you for the opportunity and the privilege and the privilege to be listed in the book of life and to spend eternity with you. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. I hope this has been helpful to you. Amen and amen, amen. Hello, this is Homer Knox again. I hope you enjoyed this video teaching. The question I have for you is, are you born again? Do you know Jesus as your personal savior? And are you saved? If not, why not? Why not? Jesus was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life. He suffered and died under Pontius Pilate and the Romans. He was buried and he rose from the dead on the third day. He's now ascended into heaven and is seating at the right hand of the Father. There is salvation in no one else, no one else. And so if this has stirred your heart and you would like to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, please pray with me. Dear Jesus, please come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins, all my sins. Thank you for giving me the Holy Spirit. Thank you for making me a new creature. And thank you for loving me and dying for me. Amen and amen. If you prayed this prayer for the first time from your heart, you're now born again. You're a Christian. You're part of the family. Praise God. Praise God. Welcome. Welcome. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the Men Teaching Men YouTube channel.